Hi guys, and welcome back to another plan with me. And you're thinking, wait a minute, this is not Friday. Why am I posting a plan with me on what day are we today? Wednesday, and not on a Friday. Well, on Friday, I have another video coming up right before the November mystery kit pre-sale, and there's a lot of announcement and also special discount that I would like to offer you guys. So that's why I rather have that video up on Friday and just boost my plan with me video to Wednesday and I'm pretty sure you guys have no problem with that right to have two videos from me this week as you guys could hear that the background theme is the sugar pump fairy theme music and I know this is associated to Christmas music too however I find that with this week's spread out of all the audio I have in my computer I think this fits very well with this week's theme and let me just show you this week's theme so I got this kit called Woodland Fall Autumn from Basil and Mint. They are actually Australia based. You may see this print on most of the Etsy shop. However, I just love how Basil and Mint applied this artwork and print onto her sticker and plus her range of stickers and color selection is amazing. That's why I fell in love with it. I wanted to do a no white space spread and that's why I pulled out one of my ombre heart check boxes because I think that's the closest to match to the spread. However, I did notice that Beza Mint do include a full box of checklists so I'm going to do that. Oh, another fact, this whole kit from Beza Mint is for the Erin Condren. However, I'm going to apply this whole kit onto my Happy Planner because you can use Erin Condren onto your Happy Planner or vice versa. So this week we're going to plan from September 26th to October 2nd. Oh, could you guys believe it? Like, there's almost three more months till the end of the year and two more months till Christmas. Like, what? Yes, I know, eh? Okay, enough of me blabbing and complaining. Let's get started. Because it is an Erin Condren kit, I do need to measure a few things out. The width of the sticker fits perfectly with the Happy Planner, however, the height is different. So here I am, as you can see, I'm just laying them out just so I could get a feel of the measurement, especially of the full box double sticker of the Fox. I am going to use it on the weekend. However, I'm just measuring other stickers out so I know what I need to fill the blank parts up with and as I have said before it is an Erin Condren vertical kit I'll be using these washi to fill up the spaces that will be showing through pulled out some scrapbook paper that might work very well with the spread too just in case so I love the washi that came with this kit the bottom washi however I'm just measuring it just to see if it will fit down there Instead of just covering the bottom part with the whole washi, I've decided to do a layering effect and cut the kit's washi into a flag just to give it a little bit of dimension to the spread. And there we go. And I feel that with the glitter washi on the background, it actually emphasized on the bottom washi that came with the kits. And I think it works very well. So I'm just going to lay down these check boxes here. It's going to be a super busy week for me. So that's why I laid all of it down for the whole week. I usually do it from Monday to Friday, but I know this week's going to be really busy for something that I'm going to be launching on October 1st. Yes, that will be the November mystery kit pre-sale. To find out what it is, just watch my next video, which is my October monthly plan with me, which I'll be uploading on Friday. Okay, back to the plan with me before we get lost in shop talk. Next, I'll be working on the sidebar. I found this glittery goodness from Michaels. Actually, it's one of their glitter scrapbook paper that they sell um, bulk, bulk or just separate. But yes, it's their pink blush and I think it goes very well with the color of this kit. And I'm just gonna go take it and cut it out to size.
Here you could use double sided tape to glue it down or I've decided to use glue because it is a heavier construct, not a heavier stock paper so I've decided to use glue to just really glue it down. The glue I used is my Tombow glue. I just place that page to the side for it to dry while I work on the second page. I've decided to balance the wig with the glitter so I'm just going to use the glitter paper also on the weekend just to cover these spaces here on top and at the bottom of this sticker. Here I am just measuring out how much I need to cut out. I've decided to cut the whole thing out and the reason for it is because if you just cut the bottom part and the top part and nothing in the middle, your sticker that you'll be laying on top will sink down and it will cause a groove which I don't like. So I'd rather cut out the whole thing and place the actual sticker on top of it so it's leveled and has no bumps into it. So here I am just gluing it down again because it is a heavier cardstock and I'm just going to lay it to the side to dry. While the second page is drying, my first page is dried, so now I'm just going to trim it. And here we go. Oh my goodness, how I love this. I love it, I love the glitter. I love, love, love. So now to work with my middle section with the full boxes, it is a smaller height than the Happy Planner, so I'm just going to fill in the spaces with these washi tape I pulled out earlier and I'm just going to measure it to size and apply them before I put my full boxes down. Here I'm just measuring out where the full boxes will be sitting and then I'm going to place my washi on top so that I don't have any other extra spaces. So instead of exactly measuring it with a ruler, I'm just going to eyeball it by lining it up. I had to add glue to the bottom washi because it's not sticking on to the glitter washi because the glitter washi is rough so it's not a smooth surface so it's not easy to stick on. So next I'm going to work on my full boxes, just picking it out and putting it down. So taking a look at my full boxes, it kind of looks like it's just floating there in mid space. So to anchor it down, I'm going to add another washi to this. I think this rose gold glitter washi works perfectly well with the spread. It goes with the color theme. Now back up to the weekend section with the big fox. I'm going to lay it down lower because I do want the weekend banner on top of it so I had to make room. And I'm just going to finish it off with this rose gold glitter just to complete my full box section look. This kit doesn't come with meal plan stickers so I'm just going to use these quarter boxes as my meal plan stickers. I've decided to use this rose gold heart washi tape that I got from Hobby Lobby when I went to visit the States. However, it is a transparent washi and the bottom headers will show up, the green will show up through it. So I'm just going to lay this on top of my sticker label here, which is a block through sticker. I forgot to glue the other side of the bottom washi down, so that's what I'm doing right now. Before I start my todays, I like to refer back to my monthly spread just to see what's going on that week so that I know what to add into my weekly spread. 
Okay, on to my today. So Monday is always grocery day for me just to restock my fridge. And the next two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'll be cutting, printing, and shipping out some sample sheet that I've decided to contribute to a planner meetup group. So the big sticker is not sticking down because of the surface of the glitter paper, so I decided to glue that down. The little munchkins and the little emoji uh, stickers that you see there is actually from the Coffee Monster Co. and also from Once More With Love. Thursday I usually do my second trip of grocery shopping because it just prepares me for the weekend also too. And it's going to be my design day Thursday and Friday. Because my weekend's already going to be pretty busy, I've decided to my plan, film my plan with me on this Friday. And I'm just going to add some icon stickers to my to-do list of what needs to be done this week. And this Saturday is the November Mystery Kit pre-sale. I'm just going to indicate that with a sticker that came with the October Mystery Kit and some banners. And speaking of banners, next is the weekend banner. See how pretty that is? I think that is gorgeous. It just, it just completes the look. I love it. So October 1st, obviously, there's a bill due on the first of the month. Next, I'm going to work on my sidebar, but because it's a full side of glitter, I'll be gluing most of the stickers down. However, before I do that, I just want to lay out how I want the stickers to sit first. Now it's time to fill in the spread. I've decided to use a brighter purple than a mauve purple because I do want the ink to stand out. I'm just going to add the finishing touches of some decorative stickers around the spread. And here we go. Before I put it back into my planner, I do have to repunch the holes and I find it easier if I just use a hole punch for that bottom one there and just cut two slits in it. And there you go guys. I'm just going to put it back into my planner which is so super satisfying. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun converting this Erin Condren vertical kits into my happy planner. And as you can see here, I'm just putting things around, making it tidy so I could take a picture for my Instagram and for my thumbnail. Once again, before I forget, this Friday, I'll be uploading my October monthly plan with me. And in that video, I'll be talking a bit about shop and also how you guys could get additional discount on your already discounted November mystery kit. So I'll see you guys next time and happy planning. Bye.